Hi guys. So I welcome you to the new lecture series called Concepts within 5 minutes. Here we will be discussing rotation of a point about the object. So you can see the initial position vector which defines the position of this point that is B. The X component was R cos phi and the Y component was R sin phi. And we are rotating this point about the origin by an angle theta. Okay. So what will happen to the X component? Then will the new X component increase or decrease? As you can see in the figure, it is decreasing. Okay. So you can consider that's why we have got a negative sign over here. So it's just for your simple understanding. Okay. So we have got a negative sign over here. And ultimately, the new x component will become x cos theta minus y sin theta. x and y are corresponding to the previous location. Okay, so we can see that y component, the new y component, is increasing. As you can see, the new y component is increasing as we rotate. So we have to consider the first quadrant only. Here, okay. Even though this particular formula is applicable to any quadrant. So you, you rotate it in the opposite direction or rotate it by more than 90, 180 degree, it doesn't matter because we are having uh, a general form over here. So just consider we are having a, a like uh, the y component is increasing. So you can see there is no negative sign as we see x sin theta plus y cos theta so this is for your simple understanding so in order to uh, if you are just uh, if you think that you are forgetting the uh, formula or the matrix rotation matrix even after um, understanding the derivation of it then you should go for this particular method of understanding you can see the y uh, x component is increase decreasing while we rotate and the y component is increasing so this is the easiest method to understand. So you can see the, the transformation matrix, the rotation matrix is cos theta minus sin theta, sin theta plus theta. If you are rotating a point about the origin and theta is uh, measured in anti-clockwise direction. If the theta is in clockwise direction, you have to give minus sign. Okay, just consider you're rotating in clockwise direction, okay, from the x axis. So it will be minus of that particular angle. If it is anti-clockwise, you have you can just uh, consider it is 45 degrees. You are rotating a point by 45 degrees in anti-clockwise direction. Then you just replace theta by 45. If you are rotating it in clockwise direction, okay, then you have to give minus 45. I hope it is clear to you. So let's do a problem. Okay, here you can see uh, x dash y dash equal to cos minus 180. So you can see minus 180. What does it mean? We are rotating by an angle minus 180 degree and it is in clockwise direction. That's why minus degree. Okay. And the initial position that is 2, 2 and 3. So in order to get the new x and y component, we have to do the matrix operation. So hope you can do it by yourself. Hope I understand this. Hope you uh, understand this lecture series. Uh, in future too. So uh, I have just started the lecture series and I will be uh, coming up with new videos. So the, it won't be derivation based videos. It will be just for your understanding so that you don't forget these basic um, transformation matrices. Thank you.